This video is on managing users and orders. To see these, you'll go up to Users and Orders and Browse Users. Here you'll see search fields that you can search the users by. You can also reset the search. And if you click the search button, it'll show you a list of all the customers there. Here you can see the user. And off to the right, you can edit the user, see orders associated to this user, or delete the user. If you wish to get an export on a CSV of all your users, you'll click this button here. We will edit the user, and here you'll see the contact information along with the account and billing information. You can make changes to these at any time, just make sure you hit Save Changes at the bottom. If you click the Address Book tab here, you can also see shipping addresses that have been defined by this user. Next, we'll go back up to the top and go to Browse Orders. You can also see that the orders are searchable as well in the same kind of fields, or if you click Search, it'll show all the orders. Here we see one, and you'll be able to edit or to delete the order. You can also designate what status the new orders come in as, whether they're processed, back order, canceled, or completed. It's suggested to keep it current so you do not get confused on what has been done and what has not. Same for the payment status. You can export all the orders via a CSV here. We will go ahead and edit one of the orders, and here you'll be able to see all the information. Right now the status is pending. If you want it to complete, in the top right hand corner where it says set order status, you'll change that to complete. You can also change discount, shipping information, and you can put in notes on the order. At the bottom, you'll see more options for the payment information. Right now it is also under pending, but you can change it to refunded, received, etc. Once you've made these changes, you'll hit the Save Changes button at the bottom. And this has been a video on users and orders.